Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Reduced in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. I wonder what Inspector Albright thinks about his punishment. Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, 
I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Sir, so I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold, so cold. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. What do you know about the Guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes. It will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking, but I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated as soon as they are spotted. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Listen to me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. 
hunted like a beast, my family lost, cursed. I have not escaped death, I have become it. No, there must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money, lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. The tranquility of a true death. I accept your offer. And I understand. No more fear I will die a man of dignity. And a man at peace. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn, as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! <laughs> 